Wind Cup, take one. Yeah, 2015. It was a uh, slow start. Well, 2015, what a hell of a year it's been. Yeah, great to be part of such a dedicated team. Oh, mate, I'm personally spent. Well, the 2015 season hasn't gone exactly to plan for car one, to be honest. Yeah, hey, we had a good time. It was so much fun. Which is what it's all about. Unexpectedly drunk on a Sunday. Started off pretty wild, wild and woolly like it always was. Yeah, then we sort of lost our way a little bit. Um, yeah, you know, a little bit of lacking a bit of car performance, a little bit of bad luck. And then as a team, we found some speed. We found a good base setup. That's that's what we're lacking. So we all worked together, and as an engineering group, drivers, all the mechanics, everyone had to dig deep. So it was uh, it was a tough year, but it's a good year to prove that you can still do that when you need to. We've had our lows, but we've had some great highs throughout the year. Be able to be the first driver now to say that we're into the hundred. For me, looking back, I think it'll be sensational. Today we're at Queensland Moto Park for a bit of a team bonding session. Yeah, Lance was tuning up the front fork just before the last session and found a bit of time, but uh, I would have been 100 metres behind him, saw him get all crossed up over a jump and then didn't see anything. And all we got to do learn how to do a knack knack and a judo roll and I would have been right. Come over the ridge and uh, here he was having a little sleep in the mud. Roll on Townsville mountain bike day. It was called the meat grinder or something like that. Like, yeah, let's do that before a race. Oh, we're well, not too not too chuffed about this one. Whoa. What are we? We meat grinding, are we? Oh, it was all going on, but body was body was <laughs> was turning against me. We just go up to the 45, roll and down. It's like, mate, whatever you had for breakfast, it's coming out. <laughs> He's a special human being. That's all I can say. Run the billy cart down the hill. It would be safe, they said. Well, I told him not to do that as well. They never listen. Oh yeah! I don't know who welded that front end on, but it was a it was a proper <laughs> box. Got some damage actually, but uh, no, I told RD straight away. I, I told him it was safe as houses, and he uh, he should commit to running it down Conrad Strait. <laughs> And off we went, a bit of, bit of testing for Bathurst. Much better than last session. It's got good rear grip, just need a little bit more front. These blokes have got some focus still on the mountain this weekend. They've obviously got something going on. Couldn't get any worse than last year. <laughs> True. <laughs> so, drive through penalty after uh, the safety car decided to wave me through, but then decided that it didn't wave me through. Uh, I'm half a lap down. Devastating because just because you knew you were about to achieve something great and, and, and in a special way, you know. Look, Bathurst is my uh, holy grail. It's the race that we start the season wanting to win. I remember as a, as a child growing up, watching, wishing, hoping that one day we could get there. It was a little disappointing as a team element that we, uh, we lost Jamie in those closing stages, but uh, you know, to, to be able to stand on that top step at the end. We didn't get the icing to, to get the one two, but still getting the win at any time. Yeah, that, that was an incredible um, experience to be a part of. Then to hear the crowd, and also not only that, but to hear the team over the radio, I think it was a huge relief for them as well. Yeah, we regrouped and uh, we come together, we decided we're not going to be mid-pack mid warriors for the for the rest of our lives. But we've worked damn hard since almost you know, Sandown, Bathurst onwards. Cars have been you know, ultimately very quick. Uh, we've showed the competitors that uh, you know we're not going to lay down, we're not going to sit still. Yeah, New Zealand, the, the repair and then the one-two. Huge tie blowout. It was, it was hectic coming down the straight behind him, seeing him was pirouetting at 250 kilometres an hour. The boys just worked their guts out all night and never gave up. To know what the car looked like on a Saturday afternoon to what it looked like Sunday morning, and then to both of us stand on a podium Sunday afternoon. Pretty impressive stuff. Proud to be part of the team. 
the team's championship is the unsung hero sort of thing. It's, it's something that means so much to all the teams in pit lane. We don't like to have to sort of big note ourselves, so your position in, in uh, pit lane does it for you. So it's spectacular. It's something that really looked unachievable, but to work hard towards it and to just to be eating away at the deficit round after round, race after race, excellent work by everyone involved. At the end of the day, you walk away going, Hey, we, we, we did absolutely everything we could. There's no doubt in my mind that um, we'll, we'll be winning plenty of races next year.